Hey guys, this is LS1 Squad Mania. As you can see, we've got the two new DLC cars in the background alongside Harry. Harry, say hello. Hi guys, what's up? Okay guys, so, as you heard me say in the intro, these are the two new DLC cars. Harry has got the new hearse looking one, and I've got the new, very un unusual car. Um, this car is called the Franken Stranger. Harry's is called the Lurcher. Harry, can you evaluate your car please? Okay guys. Well, if you open the back, you can see the zombie head Frankenstein thing, and I'll show that in a minute. But one cool feature that I like about this car is when you, like, slam on the brakes when you're going, like, really fast, the hand will point at you, and, like, it look like it's pointing at you, like, lift up his hand. I think that's a really cool feature, but I didn't show you that, unfortunately. And as you can see, we go into the back. Um, there's a Frankenstein and a casket and everything. And another cool feature, I think, is the um, number plate, which says 3D legs. But it doesn't actually say legs on it. And um, I'll show you the interior now. Okay, guys. As you can see, the ornament is like a little chainsaw dude. Um... And uh, um, saying, please uh, stop me. And then in the back, there's a, you can see the casket. Um, Ellis, take it away with your vehicle. Okay, guys. I've got to start off with one of the bad things about this car. And that is the big-ass wheels. The big-ass wheels are just... That is... That is just atrocious. This car catches on practically everything. Like, when you're driving towards the airport, like, there's loads of, like, crossroads. So if you just drive across one of them, it's very easy to crash. But on half of that, this car does sound like a friggin' Formula 1 car. And just take a listen to this. And as you can see, fire comes bursting out the sides where the exhausts are. Okay guys, so now we're going to put these cars to the test. And we're going to race with them. I'll see you in a minute. Okay guys, <clears throat> as you can see, the acceleration on the Albany Lurcher is not as good as you think it would be. On the other hand, as Ellis' vehicle, the Frankenstein, has got really good acceleration, but when this hearse picks up to speed, it's quite fast. And as you can see, I just about won that. I think I did anyway. So guys, this outcome of this car is probably one of the best accelerating cars out of these two. But the top speed on that car is probably a lot better as you can see the result of the cars. So Harry, can you finish off with the conclusion of your car? Okay, the conclusion of my car, I think it's really good. It has it's top speed and everything, but the only bad thing I think about it is that the acceleration's rubbish. L. Okay guys, so this has been Ellis and Harry from Squadmania, and I did hope you enjoyed this video, and stay tuned for future DLC cars and our comparison video. Uh, so yeah, this has been Ellis and Harry from Squadmania, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.